सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द लेक्चर अगैन माई नेम इज मिस्टर सिद्धार्थ ठाकुर आई एम द लेक्चर ऑफ ऑटो कैट एंड प्रवीण पटेल कॉलेज ऑफ डिप्लोमा इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सो दिस इज द थर्ड लेक्चर एंड वी विल सी हाउ टू यूज द ऑटो कैट सॉफ्टवेयर टिल नाउ वी हैव स्टडीड हाउ द थियोरी पार्ट ऑफ दिस सॉफ्टवेयर नाउ वी विल सी द एक्चुअल सॉफ्टवेयर सो आफ्टर ओपनिंग द ऑटो कैट सॉफ्टवेयर दिस इज द स्क्रीन वॉट यू गोइंग टू सी एंड वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज click on start drawing so after clicking on start drawing this is a screen that will be visible to you guys so as you can see you can see <coughs> you can see a lot of grids this on the screen you will see lot of grids and many more options that is the tools okay so before starting start before we should before starting the drawing what you have to do we have to set the units so how you are going to set the units you have to type un and this is what you will be seeing on the screen so select on the units and a setting will pop up so what you have to do is in types select decimal which is the de uh, default setting and in precision select 0.0 and we mechanical engineers deals with millimeters so we don't uh, deal with inches no feet no miles no centimeters kilometers meters we will do all our drawings with millimeter so select on millimeter and select okay so after doing the unit setting what you have to do it's do the second parts of the unit that is d enter that is the dimensions enter means after uh, after you type d enter wait a minute what you have to do is type d and this is what you will be seeing and select on dimension style and you will be uh, your screen will pop up with this setting so what you have to do is select on modify after selecting on modify go to primary units means there are many options that is line symbol zero text fits but you have to do is go to primary units here you have to do is select 0.0 so what is 0.0 that is after decimal point as you can see here is a point after decimal point how many digits you want so that is i want only one digit that that's why 0.0 and select okay and close so here we have done with how to set the units most of the guys are comfortable with this grid and most of the people are they are don't comfortable with the grid so how you have to remove the grid here in model in the bottom of the uh, software you will see there is a model tool and there is a, on this tool you will see display drawing grid is on display drawing uh, drawing grid is on so after clicking on this the grid goes off now there is a shortcut to switch on and off the grid that is f7 F7, F, and again if you enter F7, the screen will go off. So we have done with the unit setting, and we have also removed the grid. We can also bring on the grid, but I'm comfortable with no grids. Okay, so this is uh, the primary settings of the software. We have to change the units to millimeter, <coughs> and okay. so there are many more options there are many more tools over here we will see it one by one so we will see first how to draw a line so to draw a line we will go to the line option that is in draw command there is line option polyline circle arc rectangle this is center and this is hatching okay so we will first learn how to draw a straight line okay so click on the line command drag your cursor to the middle of the screen again click again do a single click and drag your mouse to a particular length so here i am drawing a random length of line okay so as you can see i cannot draw a straight line over means the if i uh, uh, move the mouse upward the line is going upward and if i move the line uh, mouse downwards the line is going downwards so how i will draw a line exactly horizontal or exactly vertical so there is an option over here that is restrict cursor orthograph orthogonally so when you click over here 
द लाइन विच आई वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉ विल कम एग्जैक्टली हॉरिजेंटल और एग्जैक्टली वर्टिकल सो देर इज ऑल्सो अ शॉर्टकट टू ऑन ऑर्थो और ऑफ ऑर्थो दैट इज एफ एट सो अगे इफ आई एंटर एफ एट न माई लाइन विल गो इन ऑल थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री डायरेक्शन मीन्स आई कैन ऑल्सो ड्रॉ अ इंक्लाइन लाइन सो अगेन नाउ एज आई टोल्ड यू आई वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉ स्ट्रेट लाइन वट आई विल डू आई विल enter the f8 again so i want to draw a straight line so here is a straight horizontal line i will drag my mouse to a particular distance and select and click it again so first my first line has been drawn now there is an option for second drawing means this is this is coming automatically i don't want to draw a second line so what i will do i will exit from the command and how i will exit i will press escape button okay okay so this is the random length of line that i have drawn now i want to draw a 5 mm line okay so how i am going to draw it again go to the line command with a single click select the line command bring your cursor to the screen and select the point where you want to draw the line so this is the point so i will select it with a single click and drag it so after dragging it i want to draw a line of 600 or i will say 500 mm so what i will do i would i won't do the second click what i will do is i will type 500 500 and i will press enter on my keyboard so the first 500 mm line has been drawn and there is a option for second line but i don't want to draw second line so what i will do i will press escape to exit the command so after pressing escape this is the second line i have that i have wanted to draw of 500 mm so this is how to draw a line now i want to draw a vertical line i have drawn a horizontal line now i want to draw a vertical line so what i will do again go to the line command select a point drag my mouse vertically upwards and i will i want to draw a line of 300 mm so what i will do is i press 300 on my screen or oh sorry on my keyboard and press enter and then escape so this is the vertical line of 300 mm that i have been drawn now i want to draw a line of 500 mm from this point as you can see from this point so how how you are going to draw it go to the line command drag your mouse to this point there will be a end point cursor means uh, th there is a green uh, box that you have, uh, that has been appear on the screen so as i have told you i want to draw a line from uh, this point i will go to the line command select it with a single click and i want to draw a line from this point so how i am going to know whether i have reached the end point i have zoomed in so at the end point you will see a green box indicating that this is the end point of the previous line and if i go to other end there again i will appear with a green box that this is the end point now select click on that green box and drag your mouse vertically upward with and i want to draw a line of 200 mm so i will type 200 and press enter and escape the line command so this is how to draw a line from a particular point so if i zoomed in on that point you will see there is no gap there is no gap that is the uh, since the box was appear uh, my uh, my other line will be starting from the end point exactly from the end point of the previous line so i, I am going to zoom out now now again i want to draw a line from the center of this line center of this line so how i am how i am going to do it i will select the line command and bring my cursor to the center so how i am going to know whether the center is up uh, reached so when you see a green triangle so this is the midpoint of the previous line now i want to draw a line vertically downwards so i will select here click with a single click and drag my mouse vertically downwards and i will type about 150 mm and press enter and escape so this is how i am going to draw a line okay so how to zoom in and zoom out so there is a scroll button on your mouse okay so what you are going to do it scroll it forward so after scrolling it forward what you will do 
what it will do is it will zoom in to a particular point where you want it to zoom in and if i want to see the entire image what i will do scroll outside means scroll my mouse uh, cursor towards me okay so this is how we are going to zoom out okay so if i want to move this drawing huh, means the entire screen towards towards this point to the right side of the screen so how i am going to do it bring my cursor over here click the cursor button oh, sorry uh, the scroll button on your mouse means there is a scroll button on your mouse click it instead of scrolling it click it so after clicking it and holding it your hand will appear like this and after you move your mouse you can move the entire screen towards left towards right wherever you wanted to keep it so this is how you going to move the entire screen okay now this is how we are going to draw the line now i will show you how to draw a inclined line okay so how to draw inclined line i want to draw inclined line starting from this point so the first the first thing you are going to do is select the line command like this way bring a cursor towards the point and this is the end point of the previous line select it and i want to draw inclined line starting uh, to, to to this point i means this much inclination i want but the line is coming horizontal perfectly horizontal so this is because my orthogon orthographic mode is on and how to off the orthographic mode so this is the restrict cursor ortho, uh, orthogonally is on so after clicking it my line will start moving in 360 degree so i want to draw inclined line and how much degree you wanted you can see it on the screen that is 35 degree and click it and escape so this is how you going to draw an inclined line now again i want to draw a inclined line of 150 mm from this point so how we are going to do it select the line command go to the end point now since the orthogon orthographic mode is off my i can draw 360 degree line okay so my the line my line is moving 360 degree so i want to draw 150 mm line i will type 150 mm and i will press enter and escape so this is how see a small line has appeared so this is a 150 mm line okay so this is how you are going to draw a line command so what you have learned till now is how to set a unit how to off grid on and grid off how to use this ortho orthographic mode your ortho mode i have also shown you the so, uh, sh uh, shortcut for it that is f8 okay now we will see how to draw a circle okay so in this draw command so as you can see there is a partition line over here so uh, on the left side of the partition line you will see line command polyline circle rectangle and hatching so what we are going to learn what what we are going to use it frequently is the line command the circle command and the rectangle command okay so i will move the entire screen towards left because i want to draw the next uh, drawing over here so what we will draw we, what we will draw now is a circle so click on the circle bring your cursor to the center of the screen okay now again make a single click why single click because we are selecting the center of the circle over here okay so with a single click and drag your cursor towards outwards okay so after dragging it the circle will be appear so how much big circle you want you can select it with a other click so after clicking it second time the circle will be placed okay so now this is a random uh, uh, diameter circle i want to draw a circle of 1000 oh, okay 500 mm so how we are going to do it again select the circle command okay uh, i want to draw a circle over here okay so with a single click i will select the center and drag my circle outwards okay i have not done the second click now what i will do i want to set a radius of uh, 500 mm so what i will do it's type 500 and place enter so this is the circle a smaller circle this is the circle with a radius of 500 mm so i have zoomed in and i want to zoom it out okay so you can zoom it zoom out infinite infinite and you can also zoom in infinitely okay okay now 
in zooming in and zooming out sometimes the image get lost like here now uh, this image are still available on the screen but where it is i don't know so how to bring it uh, there is a middle button that is the scroll button on your mouse click it twice click it twice your image will be on the center of the screen so again i am making it i will uh, drag the image uh, upward and downward and i will uh, pretend it like i have lost the image i don't know where it is whether it is on the right whether it is on the left so how to bring the image double click on the uh, scroll button and your image will come to the center of the screen from wherever it is okay so this is how you are going to draw a circle okay okay so the second the last command that is the rectangle command means the most frequently used command is the line command the circle command and the rectangle command so how to draw a rectangle okay so how we are going to draw a rectangle go to the rectangle icon click it with the uh, select it with a single click bring your cursor wherever you want to start drawing so with the second click you will start drawing a rectangle okay so this is a random rectangle with i don't know how much length or the base uh, length of the width of the rectangle and with the second click i will place the rectangle and to escape from the rectangle command press escape button on your uh, keyboard okay so this is a rectangle with random dimensions i don't know how the uh, what are the dimensions are okay so we have learned how to draw line circle and rectangle so now what we will do we will see the shortcuts to draw a line command shortcut to draw a circle command and shortcut to draw rectangle okay so the spelling of line is l i n e so the initial two words will become the shortcut of the command okay if the spelling is too short that is l i n e line r has only four words the, the shortcut for line will be l okay similarly circle has six words in it so the shortcut for circle is c r c i okay and the rectangle has a rectangle has many words in it so the shortcut for rectangle is r e c okay so we will see how to draw a line command without bringing the cursor on the line tool okay so what is the shortcut for line that is l so i have pressed l on my keyboard and here is a screen popped up with many uh, many tools starting from l that is line q leader uh, length layer so i am interested in line so what i will do is select the line command so now i am into line command without bringing my cursor on the line command again i will show you i am i am going to press l i have pressed l and this is the line command that i have got okay so we'll, by selecting that command i will be in the line command okay so how to again uh, uh, how to draw a line make a single click drag your line wherever you want to place place it with a single click and press escape okay so this was the shortcut for line command now i will show how to draw a circle command okay so with the sp spelling of circle is c i r c l e okay so with the initial word c here is the shortcut for circle so by pressing only c the sh shortcut for circle comes again there are many tools starting from c copy uh, properties chamfer close okay i am interested in c i will uh, sorry i am interested in circle i will select the circle command so i am into circle command i will select the center of the circle with a single click and drag it and with the second click i will place the circle so this was the shortcut for the circle command i hope you are getting it okay now the shortcut for rectangle is rec so we know how to draw rectangle by first method is to go to uh, bring your cursor to the rectangle tool and after selecting it draw starting draw start drawing the rectangle now to draw a rectangle with a shortcut you have to press rec so after pressing rec that is the first uh, three first three initial words of the spelling so after spelling uh, after typing rec rectangle will come select the rectangle okay so after pressing it now listen here i want to draw a rectangle with a base means the length of the rectangle should be around 500 and the width should be 300 okay so how to draw it with a single click okay 
प्रेस डी एंटर ओके आई विल शो यू प्रेस आर ई सी प्रेस सिलेक्ट द रेक्टेंगल कमांड हाँ सिलेक्ट द पॉइंट वेर यू वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट द रेक्टेंगल दैट आई वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट द रेक्टेंगल फ्रॉम यर विद अ सिंगल क्लिक प्रेस द माउस लेफ्ट बटन एंड ड्रैग इट ओके डोंट प्लेस इट जस्ट ड्रैग इट ओके एज यू कैन सी यू कैन ड्रैग इट ओके नाउ प्रेस डी एंड प्रेस एंटर ओके सो डी स्टैंड फॉर डायमेंशन सो नाउ आई विल स्पेसिफाई द डायमेंशन ऑफ द सर्कल सो एज यू कैन सी हियर द रिटर्न एज यू कैन सी ऑन दर्सर यू विल सी स्पेसिफाई देंथ फॉर रेक्टेंगल ओके सो आई वॉन्ट टू प्ले मेक अ रेक्टेंगल ऑफ थाउजेंड लेंथ एंड द ब्रेथ शुड भी और द विथ शुड भी फाइव हंड्रेड सो वॉट आई विल डू आई विल इन द लेंथ आई विल प्रेस थाउजेंड प्रेस एंटर नाउ इट इज telling me specify the width for the rectangle now for width i will press 500 and enter so here you have placed with the rectangle okay again we will do it rec i am going to select it specify the corner point i want to start the rectangle from here drag it press d and press enter specify the length and now i will want to i want to make a big uh, rectangle so 1000 or 10000 i will put 10000 uh press enter specify the width and width should be 5000 okay and press it enter okay so it is not yet placed ha huh? with the single click of mouse it will be placed on the screen so i am going to click it okay so this is how you will draw a rectangle of a specific dimensions okay so now we have learn how to use the draw command the uh, commands in the draw toolbar that is line circle rectangle and in the further lecture i will show you how to use the hatching command in the draw toolbar in the next video i will show you how to uh, draw modify uh, how to use modify toolbar annotation toolbar and also how to save the file okay so that's it for today thank you